Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. It's small but mighty. I found some really fun new summer stuff and I wanted to share it with you. Okay, we'll start off with a repeat. If you saw my last video, I wanted to show you this cup again because I am obsessed with it. Uh, double walled wine, mixed beverage, tea, give it to a kid two-handed. It is a little big for a child, um, but it's it's got the slider. So if you're out at a picnic, at the pool, outdoors, yeah, I think it's great. Double wall, like I said, so it won't sweat. And what I would do is bring my beverage pre-mixed if I wasn't having wine and then just pour it in here as I, excuse me, as I sip on it because, and the reason I'm showing you that again is because I'm apparently obsessed with the watermelon. I can't help it. Thumbnail. I got a tray. Actually, I got two. So, as I mentioned in my last video, it could well be colleague appreciation week right now. In the event, I'm decorating my office space. Um, the colleague appreciation week is a bank wide thing. It's not just something my department does, but we appreciate this whole week, all the colleagues of the bank get appreciated. And in little ways we bring in different things. So this week I'll be bringing in some treats and some little, actually I brought plants. I have been starting uh, cuttings from plants throughout my house and I'm bringing them in. Actually, I wanna take another cutting and bring that in as well. So yeah, so the theme is summer. Like I think I showed you in the last video, I got some inflatables and we're gonna do watermelon. Um, I also grabbed this size tray. So, and my plan is I will leave these at the office and I've got some watermelon dish dry racks, trap dish drying mats that I leave under the Keurig and the, at my coffee station, I do a little nice niceties over there we all use it and so I grab this now this does say new highly durable heavyweight new I do not think it says melamine not recommended for use in the microwave and dishwasher so not dishwasher safe not microwave safe but easily to clean up wash it off and for summer entertainment you can't go wrong with these trays and Dollar Tree stuff they're very sturdy um, I showed you the last time and I do have three now of the cork, but I think I'm going to buy the light gray and do like cork, gray, gray, cork on my wall. We'll see if I can find another light gray one, but if not cork, cork, cork it is, but I'm going to put these up with Velcro on the back. I'm not going to dig into my wall. I don't put anything heavy on them. So some of the peel away Velcro will work just fine. So I grabbed another one of those because I I thought three was good, but I think four will be better. Okay, party, let's party, party. So I grabbed the other party balloons, but I grabbed a flamingo. Actually, the flamingo is for my team lead's desk. She doesn't like flamingos, so we terrorize her with them. Um, but I did get the toucan as well. So when I decorate for the party, this will go on her desk. It's not really a party. I shouldn't say that. It is just, I'm going to decorate. Um, we have some empty desks that touch. So I'm going to decorate all that area. And that's where we'll bring in the treats, the gift. If we have little gifts, little whatevers. Um, I did, did I say I'm making plants? I did. I'm bringing the plants in. And everybody can just pick their own. But, and then I went with this because I love navy blue background with florals. So a tablecloth just to make everything protected. There's the hibiscus. We have the flamingo. We have the birds. It's going to be fine. So I grabbed that. I'm, make, I'm trying to put all this into a bag so I don't forget anything. Then I also picked up on well, this bag here, I grabbed this for my desk. No other reason that I love it. It is an outdoor fun inflatable cup holder. So it says here that it's for floating in the pool. However, let's blow it up. 
There is no reason, absolutely, you cannot take this to the beach and sit it on the sand to put your cup in. Trash. Um, to keep the sand out. And being Pride Month, if you so participate, put this in your pool so you I don't fit a can I don't think that will fit in there no I can like a beer can or a soda can or something and then you can push that down in there and then it will float around your pool or you can sit it on your desk I know isn't it adorable they also had a mermaid I may have to get the mermaid too I know but if, think about it you're at the beach you put your can in here I bet you that would hold a sand leak too. And then it just keeps the sand off. How fun is that? Or bathtub toy. Uh, for my garland or whatever the heck I'm making with my burlap, I grabbed this anchor. I found that very summer-esque. And we'll see. It will go in with the decorations and then we'll see what, what transpires. Um, I thought these would be fun. They're just, I think they're for like yard sale, but I was going to write like positive things to my team and sticker these on a glass wall that we have, you know, just to make our area nice. Maybe some positive sayings or call out certain employees. I don't know, or staff members, colleagues. We'll see. You get 30, 30 different shapes. So I thought, well, maybe we can do something with that. Oh, I got some more of these bleach tablets. These are linen scented. Let me tell you, they work great. I put one in my wash with my sheets and they worked great. But you know what else I'm gonna use them for? Um, so I have an abundance of toilets in this condo of mine. I have four bathrooms, three full baths, one half bath. And two of them I never use. One is in the basement and I only use it if I have company and one is in the office where the kitty litter is and I just don't use it. So I'm gonna drop tablets in the bowl, not in the back where your mechanical stuff is cause this could hurt that, but in the bowl itself, hard water collects, you know, we have hard water here and you get dirt and gross and I never remember to go flush them. So I'm gonna put a bleach tablet in each or two and let them just sit. And I have tried it with the big ones and it works perfectly well. My only concern with the big ones is if somebody tries to use the toilet and the thing hasn't dissolved completely, I may have a problem. So with these, they're little and they'll just go down. I have used liquid bleach before, but this is just easier. Oh, and also I grabbed some of these garland. I think I have two of these for the party or decoration because I thought they were fun and summery and they're just uh, popsicles. And maybe if it's a hot day, I'll get everybody popsicles. Who knows? We don't know that far in advance. And then I was shook. I was shook, shocked even. I found Mod Podge, which is not new, but this is the dishwasher safe Mod Podge. So this is what you would put, let's say you wanted to make this glittery and you would cover it with Mod Podge, fine glitter, Mod Podge, fine glitter, and then you would coat it in the final layer of Mod Podge and then it's dishwasher safe. This is what you would use. So the blue is dishwasher safe. And if you're gonna put something outdoors um, or it's gonna come in contact with water or anything, you'd wanna use this. And I was surprised to find it. And quite frankly, I feel like at one point pre-COVID, I did the math and it was actually cheaper than Hobby Lobby to buy these little containers ounce for ounce. So there's that. And I don't plan to use a ton of it. So $1.25 it is. And I thought that was fantastic. It's new packaging too. Mm. Okay, let's see where are we at. We have one more. One more bag. Okay, oh, and for all uh, this, I grabbed these. I told you I was obsessed with the watermelon, but these are actually to replace, I still have the Christmas ones out under my Keurig at work and the water, the um, electric tea kettle that we have. So I needed a couple more. 
just to freshen up the place. These are great for spills and stuff. They just absorb it or if the coffee drips or whatever. Just makes it tidy over there and it also makes it look nice, right? So that'll go in my bag to the office. This bag to the office is getting big, guys. Okay. Well, the mood I was in and the headache I had yesterday, I grabbed another one of these because I couldn't find my other one. This is a vapor inhaler. It's just like breathing in Vicks because I had, I don't know if I told you, but this is, I'm, this is the second video I've made today um, for Dollar Tree, but I had a very bad migraine. I get, my allergist told me it's called an atypical migraine. It is brought on by uh, barometric pressure changes and in the air so it's been raining and storms have been coming through all week and it just does a number on my head and yesterday i woke up and it was absolute misery so i would have appreciated some relief a little bit even if it's just breathing it in and this is definitely equivalent to the vix and i like this better than the pink salt one because this one is um stronger and when you got sinus problems Sometimes stronger is better. I even neti potted, except for I used a syringe. You don't need to know. Okay. Oh, I picked up, so I told you I was doing, I don't know if the last video, some goodie bags for my family to give them when we all meet at the airport. So everything needs to be easy, small, portable, and not liquids. So, um, when you, I don't know if you've ever done a long haul flight, but, um, hydration is very key when you're in an airplane for a long time so we're gonna be in an airplane for seven or eight hours so I got us pure kick these are hydrating um, drink mixes and you put them in with 16 ounces of water but they have electrolytes in them so they help kind of help you hydrate I'm hoping these are not as salty as the liquid IV my sister-in-law didn't care for the salty one liquid IV is great it's just very potent. So I grabbed these for everybody to throw in the little bags and you get um, six sticks. So I think each person can have four of these. I'll do the math. I don't need them because I have some other electrolytes, but I just want to put these in there. And it's, sorry. in their little goodie bags for the flight. Is that it? No, that's work stuff. I'm a mess here, guys. Okay, uh, for the flight. I got a bunch of stuff for that. I grabbed another back box of the Stainaways. These wipes are amazing, and I grab them when I see them, although I think I have enough now. Uh, but everybody also is gonna get a couple of these in their little goodie bag, because we all drink beverages, coffee, stains, and we'll be traveling. So everybody's gonna get a few of these in their little goodie bags. Right, oh, for my pit, for my work, I grabbed some water. I told you I'm obsessed, watermelon napkins. And I love that they're shaped like a watermelon slice. <laughs> so I got those to go to the office as well. I have everything mixed up over here. It's okay. All right. And we're down to the last little bits. I grabbed two of those. Nothing major there. Um, everybody is going to get some of these. Now, I feel like we all carry hand sanitizer, but... Um, just in case you get 24 of these, but they're just little sachets, like a little individual serving, if you will. So I'll give everybody a couple of those just in case they didn't bring any and they need some hand sanitizer in their little bag. Cause they can also throw these bags into their day bag while we're touring and have, if they want, they'll have, um, some stuff with them so this is just as alcohol now as a precaution please know that this will not protect you from the norovirus I think I've said that before but it, it warrants being said again I will be packing for myself and I will have extra if my family wants it Lysol wipes to wipe down the plane so not the whole plane just our seat like anything we're gonna touch on the plane 
um, I'm wiping with Lysol wipes because I'm not trying to get sick on my way to vacation and the norovirus waits for no man or woman. So um, I plan on Lysol wiping, Clorox wiping, whatever. My seats, the tray table, the lamps and stuff above me, anything in my area that I'm touching and I will be washing my hands like a maniac. So this does not help for that, but everything else, this is fine. So I thought everybody could use a little sanitizer. And then the last thing I found, which I am shook again, shooketh, shaken up. This was a shaken up kind of trip to the Dollar Tree. What? OxyClean. I apparently am obsessed with this and I'm going to tell you why. I spill coffee on myself fairly regularly. There's a shocker to nobody. So I like to keep things around so it doesn't stain my clothes. Uh, OxyClean, I see you at the Dollar Tree. It is a little smaller than the Tide to go. Irrelevant. Same concept. Full of liquid, so it will have to go in my liquids bag. But this is an OxyClean mini on-the-go stain remover. And it was definitely designed for Dollar Tree packaging because um, I'm noticing a lot of stuff is coming printed with the Dollar Twenty-Five. So I'm assuming these were created by the manufacturer like by the manufacturer because this is not a sticker it's actually on their packaging like it's just part of the package so i don't know what the deal is but um i like to keep these with me and my brother took off with my other tide stick so let's open it up and give it a sniff because that's what tells me so this is OxyClean, not Tide, obviously, but it doesn't matter. As long as you treat your spot with something. It doesn't have a smell, but I'm also... Okay, this is a different tip. This is... Ah, okay. So this is different. The other one is more... Tide to go is more like a marker. No scent at all. This is more like a hard plastic. You push it and then you rub it. And it has like, it's a hard plastic applicator. Unlike the Tide to Go, which is like a marker. I mean, I don't think there's really any difference other than the opportunity for this to leak. That's my, ooh. Okay. Um, that is my, see, it, the whole thing goes down and it's hard plastic. That would be my concern with this. So it'll just stay in a zip bag with other liquidy stuff anyway, but it may not travel with me. It may just stay at home, but that's fine. OxyClean for the win. Guys, cause I just hate having stains. These, the only thing I, I'm not even gonna say I dislike about them. They're large compared to the Tide to Go. I don't care, they work just fine. I've used them multiple times. I have some at my office. I have some in my backpack. I keep them with me. Okay, everybody, that is everything I got this week at the Dollar Tree. I hope you enjoy and I will talk with you later. Bye.